Rothwell's is relatively new to the Brisbane dining scene. We, we opened up in November. You know, we've got this heritage listed space uh, on, on Edward Street in Brisbane, which is Brisbane's uh, sort of luxury goods shopping strip. You know, it's marble tables, it's, it's leather booth seating, huge chandeliers, lamps on tables, and just, you know, just all those really classic, timeless features. Nostalgia was, was a, also something that, that kept coming up in the, in the design and conception of this, of this venue. We sort of wanted a venue that had a really strong beverage offering and then just familiar food, comfortable food, and just really focus on execution and delivery and the atmosphere of the dining room. That was the, the, sort of the key focus point. So I hope guests leave Rothwell's with the memory both of a sense of occasion uh, and also a sense of familiarity. With the menu, just classics was something that just kept coming up in the planning of Rothwell's. We just wanted all those classic things, and whether or not that's a, that's a Nishwar salad, a Caesar salad, a steak tartare. We've also got a grill section, so a good selection of both grain and grass-fed beef. As much as we have fillet steak or a, or a ribeye steak, we also use you know, chuck flap and tri-tip, and perhaps cuts that people are less familiar with. The beef wellington, which is sort of a share format dish, which that's been uh, hugely popular. We would sell between 80 and 100 wellingtons a week. Beef wellingtons, an interesting history. There's a lot of debate as to whether or not it's an English dish or a French dish. Probably the first chef to make it popular was actually Julia Child in 1965. We use a grain-fed Product. It's seared in a hot pan just to sort of caramelise the outside of it. It's then brushed with Dijon mustard. Then we make a crepe. We put a layer of uh, what we call a mushroom duck cell, which is essentially just sautéed mushrooms with a bit of onion and garlic that we puree. The purpose of the crepe is to try and contain any moisture that the mushrooms have from the puff pastry so it can still become crisp and golden brown. And then it's wrapped in a puff pastry. Put a layer of egg wash on. The egg wash as well is actually quite important. We use equal amounts of cream and egg yolks and also quite a generous amount of table salt. Also it does help uh, in the browning of the pastries. And then we have another sheet of pastry which we use a lattice cutter. Then a second coat of egg wash and then we bake it in the oven with a, uh, an internal temperature of about 34 to 36. That's on 200 degrees. Rest it, carve and serve. Uh, we serve ours with a uh, port and red wine sauce. Uh, I think my journey so far uh, as a chef has probably you know, started out doing very classical French food. To be back doing it, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I, I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it.